Hello and welcome to Real Life Rising. I wanted to talk today about connecting with other people, whether it's a professional connection or friendship or more than friendship. For some people, connecting with others is just plain difficult. That might be the case because of anxiety. For me personally, social anxiety definitely makes it difficult to connect to people because when I'm out in public, I'm kind of afraid to talk to anybody sometimes. And it's also, it also causes problems because even when I do connect with people that I meet at an event or something, I might get their contact information or their Facebook but then I never reach out to them afterward because I'm afraid of bothering them. That's partly anxiety too, but other people have the same problem. They know that people get busy, they don't want to bother people. They are at an event and they see somebody they want to talk to, but that person's talking to others and they don't want to interrupt. Some people, even when they have friends or partners, don't always feel connected to them. They might feel like there's a distance between them or, as has happened to me, they might feel that even with a close friend or a partner, they can't reach out and just say hi because the other person might be busy. Most of us need connections with other people in one way or another. And if we are having trouble making those connections or maintaining them, it can be a very upsetting and painful feeling. It's important, I think, to remember that if you're one of the people who has that difficulty, just because somebody isn't reaching out to you doesn't mean they don't care about you. They probably are busy, or maybe they're thinking the same thing you are. I don't want to bother them. I don't want to interrupt. Somebody has to be the first to reach out or it never happens. And if you're in a, a group at say a party or a karaoke night or something, and you are sitting there feeling like, oh, well, I can't talk to these people because I haven't got anything interesting to say, join the conversation anyway. You might find something relevant that you can contribute, or they might ask you, hey, so what's going on in your life? And you can tell them. Forming connections is not an easy thing for some of us, and I'm including myself in that. I have a lot of trouble with it. But you can learn how to, and you can learn that you are worth having people in your life who like you and want to spend time with you. You are worth speaking up in a group and having people listen to you. And you are worth the amount of time it takes somebody to read a text or a Facebook message or listen to a voicemail. If they are busy, they might not get back to you, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't reach out to them. If you reach out, they at least know that you want to talk to them and they might get back to you. They probably will. So take the chance. It's, it can be scary and it can be difficult to push yourself that far, but try it. You've got nothing to lose and you might gain some new friends. And I'm saying this as much to myself as anybody, believe me. I'm, I'm not trying to say, oh, it's just as easy as walking up and talking to people. It is not. And I have had people tell me it is and not understand why that's not something I can do. So I'm, I'm speaking to you about this from the point of view of somebody who has that difficulty. But you can overcome it. Go to a party with somebody you know well who can introduce you to other people. That smooths the conversation. Ask somebody to set up a dinner or have a group conversation on Facebook. Whatever you need to do to feel comfortable having conversations and connections with other people, if that's something that you feel you need in your life. 
just a few suggestions. If you have suggestions about ways that you can connect with people, please leave them in the comments. We, we would love to see them. I would love to see them because I can definitely use some pointers myself. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comments section as well. If you are interested in more videos, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And I will be back on Tuesday. Phoenix will be here on Thursday or Thursday-ish. And I'll be here again next Saturday. That's our regular schedule. I hope that you have a great rest of the weekend. And I hope you make a new friend if that's what you're going to try to do. I will see you on Tuesday. Take care.